Life is mainly hard work for 24-year-old Muriel Pavlo, up-and-coming star of stage and screen. She's glad when she can forget all about theatres and film studios for a while and enjoy a bit of fresh air in the lovely surroundings of her Rickmansworth home. Riding is her favourite way of spending a spare half hour, when she gets a spare half hour. Every evening and two matinees a week, she faces full houses across the footlights in the play while the sun shines. The rest of the day she mostly spends facing a movie camera. So she has precious little time to herself. That's one of the penalties of success. Once in her life, there's nothing to hurry for. She's played so many different parts that it's quite a change just being herself. But all too soon, it's time to be getting back. Even at home, there's still work to be done. Her lines must be learned, ready for the afternoon shooting in the film studios. But Sally, Boy and Junior have their own ideas about that. Over now to the Associated British Studios at Wellin, where the wardrobe mistress is fitting the clothes that Muriel wears in the film Night Boat to Dublin. This will be her first adult film role. Very different from the part of the precocious child which she played in the film of Quiet Wedding. There, last touch to her hairdo, and she's ready to rehearse one of her scenes with Robert Newton. Lawrence Huntington, the director and joint author of the story, gives a few last instructions and they're ready to run through the scene. This is the point at which Muriel, expecting the villain to come through the curtains, knocks out the hero instead. Luckily for Robert Newton, the vase is a phony one, made to break without hurting. But all the same, he's glad it's the last scene in the film. 